Mashed potatoes, I think everyone loves them, but how can you do them a little bit different? How about a Parmesan crusted mashed potatoes with chives and buttermilk? I've got the recipe, let's get cooking with style. Even though you know your potatoes are done, take a knife and stick it in them just to make sure it's nice and soft. And these potatoes are absolutely perfect. Let's go drain them off and have a little catch there just in case some get away, which they always do. And we want to get off as much of the liquid as possible. And we'll put this back in here, head over to the counter and get these mashed. Mashed potatoes may seem simple, but there are some things that you can do to mess them up or make them totally perfect. In this particular recipe, I'm using gold potatoes, Yukon gold, instead of russet. Russets are great, I love them. They're excellent for baking. It just so happens Yukons are a little bit better for mashed potatoes. When it comes to mashing, you don't wanna overdo it. And so we're just gonna mash these. So I'm gonna leave these a little bit more lumpy here. Give them a good spin around like that. And now we're gonna start adding some ingredients to this. So to this, I'm gonna add my butter and I'm gonna put in four tablespoons of butter. And I'm just gonna fold that in like so. Kind of get that butter melting and moving around in there. To this though, I'm gonna add some buttermilk. Start slow and then add more as you go. We're gonna put in about a half a cup and we'll mix that in. I don't want my potatoes running, so go slow and then add more if you need it. Good, make sure that butter gets melted in there. That's a pretty good consistency. Nice mashed potatoes. At this point, what I want you to do is give a little taste. And if it needs a little salt, a little more pepper, which this does, I seasoned the water with salt, so I don't need to put any more salt in it. And this turns out to be pretty good. So I'd like to go ahead and add my chives in. And I'm just gonna put all those in. And I'm putting them in at the end so I don't get them all kind of smashed up and mushed up. They stay nice and full and flavorful. Wow, you can really smell the chives coming out. All right, I've got my casserole dish here. We'll just put this in my casserole dish. And when it comes to getting the potatoes in here, we don't want to smooth it all out and make it, you know, perfectly flat because what I like about having the ridges and everything, it grabs the, um, the Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs and then that'll add a little bit more of a crust to it. Put that around like so. Now let's make our Parmesan cheese and breadcrumb mixture. To this, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese half a cup of breadcrumbs, give that a little mix, and then we're gonna sprinkle that over the top. And you see what I mean about having those little ridges and everything like that? With the ridges, it'll catch the Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs, and then that will help it get a little bit more crispy and crunchy. So there you go. This is ready to go in the oven. It's preheated, let's head on over there. In the oven, these go to warm up, and we'll finish them off with the broiler to brown them up. All right, I've had my eye on these potatoes under the broiler, and they are looking nice and golden brown. Check this out. Make sure you don't leave them under there, under there too long because you don't want to burn them. I'll finish off the potatoes with a little chopped Italian parsley. Man, these smell good. I'm telling you, when you serve these up, no one's had mashed potatoes like this. That buttermilk chive and then the crusty cheese and breadcrumbs on top. If you'd like this recipe, or all the ones we do here on Cooking with Styles, go to cbsa.com slash recipes. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.